Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So today I'm gonna to answer a question that I literally get asked every single day, again today, and that is how do I become a smart contract auditor if I'm in the beginning of my journey? And I'm gonna preface this answer with, I am not personally a smart contract auditor, but if I was interested in that sort of thing, this is what I would do. So. To get started, you need to understand the language that you're auditing, right? If you don't understand that code at all, you really can't audit it. And the biggest bang for your buck within blockchain is going to be Solidity. You know, many blockchains use it, many blockchains cross compile it. So that's where I would start. Now there are a lot of free resources online, such as going through the Crypto Zombies tutorials or looking at YouTube channels that have Solidity and advanced Solidity courses, honestly, you can learn Solidity within a few days if you already have previous coding experience or get enough of it within a week to get started. I would learn how Solidity works. I would write some small contracts and I would try to write a web interface for that, go through some tutorials on how to do that to interface you know, web3.js to talk to your backend uh, blockchain smart contract and understand how all of that works so that when you look at the code, you understand what's going on in the code and you're able to audit it. Once you understand that at a fundamental level, and this will be an ongoing journey, I would start looking at the vulnerabilities, such as my playlist for the 2020 blockchain hacking course, and really dive in and understand the vulnerability classes because you'll get to double down on Solidity, learning more Solidity, more advanced stuff, as well as how to do real things such as exploit the vulnerabilities that you found. Because if you can exploit a vulnerability versus just spot it, you'll have a much more in-depth uh, knowledge of it to explain to your clients, to be able to find little nuanced issues. So go through all of that course, understand all the vulnerability classes, exploit all of them, actually do the labs. And again, that's only about two and a half hours of content with doing all the labs. Maybe it'll take you like a day or two. Now, with that knowledge, you need to put all of this knowledge into like working form that is not just following a tutorial, such as for vulnerabilities, look at the online CTFs, which are free, such as the old one, I believe it was called Ethernaut, that has a bunch of standard blockchain vulnerabilities. Now, try to exploit all of those without looking at answers. Unless you're banging your head on the wall for like a full day, do not look at somebody else's example of how they did it try to exploit it on your own. If it really stumps you and you're smashing your head forever, look at their example and then re-implement it. But don't just watch it and say, oh, yeah, I got that. There's also stuff like damn vulnerable DeFi as well. You can go through that. Now, this will give you, you know, a little bit more, you know, unstructured hacking of vulnerabilities, which will force you to learn more things, Google some things, etc. Now, as far as the auditing goes, now you have a good, idea of vulnerability classes and coding, et cetera, and all the things that you need to understand. At this point, you can literally create your own internship for Web3 blockchain smart contract hacking auditing. The reason is most of these reports for these large companies when they do smart contract audits, they're free online. So what I would do is treat it like an internship or like a junior position at a job. I would download like say two reports. I would read through these reports and go, okay, this is what they're reporting on. This is why they're reporting on it. I would try to understand each vulnerability. If you don't understand what's going on in the findings or if it's written terribly, at least try to understand it and then do some Googling. Now, once you get through these two reports and you understand what's going on, I want you to get a third report, but I want you to stop at the report in the very beginning where it gives you a GitHub repository and an ID value of like the snapshot. And I want you to go download that code. I want you to spend three days to a week auditing that code yourself based on your current knowledge and based on reading the previous report. And then I want you to write up your own report. Once all of your own report is written up, you're going to open up the report that you found and you're gonna compare and you're gonna contrast. And this is the same thing as what you would do if you had a penetration testing job, right? You're gonna be shadowing somebody, you're gonna share notes and look at their work and go, oh yeah, that's I missed that. So what you wanna do is look at the things that you found that they didn't found, find, why didn't they report it, is it an issue? 
Did you find something they didn't and it's actually a big issue? Eh, go submit it to them or look if they fixed it in future uh, updates of their code. Then look at the things that they found that you didn't find. And I want you to understand, you know, where in that code that is, why it's a vulnerability. And that way you can spot it next time. So by failing and not finding it, it'll stick in your head. Oh yeah, that looks similar to what I saw before. I wonder if there's an issue there and you'll dive a little bit deeper. Now, after all of that's done, I still want you to read through their whole report and look at their findings and how they structured the wording and how they like distill all of the data to the person. And then I want you to look at yours, learn what you can from their report, but also understand some of these reports are terrible and yours might actually be better, but you're always going to find some good nuggets in there of, oh yeah, that's a good way to explain that. Or, oh, I didn't think of it that way. And you're going to learn something. Now you've created a whole internship for yourself on blockchain smart contract auditing. And I want you to do this over and over and over again until you feel really confident with your audits. Because at that point, I mean, hey, you're ready to do audits at a company or at least get a job somewhere and you can like kill a job interview that's having you audit simple little contracts, right? So with all of that knowledge and with all that real world exploiting, you're ready to kind of move to an advanced level if you want to go more into hacking stuff like I do versus just auditing code. So with this understanding, we're gonna have the second blockchain hacking course that I'm doing. And that's gonna be a lot of coding with Python, automating stuff, doing more Devi stuff and integrating all the security stuff and, and just making things easier and better processes and methodologies might be something you're interested in. So you could check that out as well as think about a project you wanna work on, right? Kind of like a developer, you can start creating a GitHub of projects that you know will show that you understand Web3, how to code it, which obviously means you understand the code and maybe you might be a good auditor if you pass their interviews. So think about a project that sounds interesting to you. It doesn't matter if somebody else already did it. It just has to sound interesting to you. Now I want you to sit there and start thinking about in your head, write it out. What is this application gonna do? What are the components? And then try to actually do it. Take all of that knowledge you learned in your beginning of learning Solidity and JavaScript and code it and code it security. Use the secure code libraries and all of those things and try to actually implement this project because by failing like 50 to 100 times throughout this process and having a Google answers and put this thing together, you're gonna learn a ton and have a way deeper understanding of how code works, which will help you audit code, which will help you exploit code. Now, if you wanna take that even a little bit farther, you can look at stuff I have such as DeFi attack stuff and identifying those and coding that for R&D and to kind of track hackers and audit um, malicious contracts, understand what the malicious people are doing within some of the playlists I have in this channel for uh, blockchain basics with ethers.js or the web3.py uh, stuff I'm gonna be putting out or the web3.js stuff, understand how the networks work, understand how the underlying blockchain basic stuff works and transactions, et cetera, because that will all help you in identifying issues with how the contracts interact with the blockchain, okay? So hopefully all this is interesting to you. Follow me over on Twitter at, at Fiction. Link is below. Subscribe to the channel. And I really hope this is useful. This is how I would tackle this if I was interested in doing smart contracts audits. All right, catch you later.